The third episode starts with Sakura and Tomoya explaining what happened on the day before inside her room. And like always, we have Tomoya breaking the tension and talking about how great Sakura performed capturing the card. Then she gives a quick explanation in how her cards are still clear. And Kero, for once, stay at home watching over them. Yeah, Kero, do your job for once. Anyway, the bell rings and Sakura and Tomoyo rush into class. For a moment, we see Sharan thinking about what they just said. He seems suspicious if you ask me and I think he knows something that he does not want to tell Sakura. As reaching her class, once again, Tomoyo and Sakura are greeted by Chihara. They think the recipe she has given to them and Tomoyo says that she has some leftovers that they will eat for lunch. As Sakura is about to sit down on her chair, it starts to rain. Heavily. On lunch break, everyone is amazed by Sharan's cooking. In fact, they are leftovers, but you know, they are still amazed. However, as they talk, the rain gets even worse. A small break from Yamazaki, saying his fantasy life that Sakura and Shara believe. He then asks Naoko how her activities in the club are going. She replies that the majority of the members are female, which means the females will have to play as male. This reminds Tomoyo when Sakura has to play the prince and Shara has to play the princess on a school play and Tomoeda in the first series. He was actually the queen of the princess. Chiharu does not remember this, however. After lunch, another art class. This time they are drawing flowers. Sakura has borrowed Naoko's book and she made a chibi drawing of Sakura. When Sakura shows to Tomoyo, Tomoyo noticed that Naoko also drew Sakura and Sharan. Which makes Sakura go like Aah! in embarrassment. And everyone looks at her, what's wrong? Another one I On the way back home from school, Sakura and Tomoyo chat about the club activities. Unfortunately Sakura couldn't perform and show off because yeah, it was an application that it was impossible to do because it was raining. Still as they go back, when suddenly it starts to rain even harder. As Sakura and Tomoyo find a shelter, Sakura realizes it's a card. Like always, Tomoyo is prepared and brought with her her costume. As water touches Sakura, she is captured by the water and it almost chokes her. Sakura then remembers to lock the card somehow. She uses the siege card that she captured on her room. Then Tomoyo screams. She didn't have the chance to film her in action. Yeah, because that's always important, right, Tomoyo? <laughs> anyway, Sakura reaches her house. She phones Shaura about the card she just captured. He was happy that nothing serious happened to them, and they returned safely home. Breaking from Sakura, we see Toya and Yukito. Yukito gets a message from Sakura and Toya is worried about his sister. Toya knows. After all, he was the one who gave his power to Yue. On the next day, at school, Sakura and Chiharu perform for the cheerleading club. Just like they did back in Tomoeda Elementary School. Everyone is amazing, including the teacher. After the thank yous, Sakura noticed that she has her shoelace loose. Once she finishes tightening it, she noticed that everyone is gone. Her key is shining bright. It's the work of another card. Sakura realizes this and tries Gale several times. The card is on the move, she notices. She then tries and uses Aqua. As soon as the water touches the new card, she then spots the card and captures Reflect. Woohoo! Two cards in one episode! Strangely enough, they are the cards are going by order as they were in the first one that Sakura had was Wind and the first card that she actually 
has to um, captured she has the wind and captured fly which is more or less the same for me at least but honestly they are going more or less the same way because on the third episode Sakura had to capture the water so is this going the same way? after she captured the card Shoran shows up and offers his jacket Aqua left her soaking wet. Honestly, I want to see more moments like this. It's so cute! But also feels like he knows something about this. However, he does not want to tell Sakura. Sakura then returns home and she is greeted by her dad. As she puts her clothes into the washing machine and prepares a warm bath. She goes upstairs to pick some warm clothes. But as she talks to Kero and invites him for the bath, she faints and has another dream of the mysterious person. She somehow recognizes this time. The episode ends with this person looking through her window. So, these are the episodes that were launched so far, but I have to do the review like this because... Yeah, YouTube bot is messing out and I haven't done anything wrong, but YouTube bot says I did when I didn't. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. I hope you guys like it this way. Because you have to understand that sometimes I don't feel like dressing up just to show on camera. So, yeah those are the episodes that were launched so far i will be doing the fourth episode like this as well but let's just talk about now if you enjoy the review please hit that like subs uh, please hit that like button down the video and if you would like to hear more from me hit that subscribe button and the bell so you will be notified if you haven't already comment like share with people that might like and like i said subscribe if you like and like always guys thanks a lot for watching i'll see you on my next video and like always guys take care